Let me start out with this nasty toothpaste right here that I've been itching to tell you guys about. You don't need no space. Just follow me. Like a mirror, you reflect me. Like a Friday night on the weekend. I feel blessed. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla if you're new. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So in today's video, I have my July empties. And I am a couple of days late with this, but you know, it's only August 2nd, so am I really that late? But I do have a couple of products here that I wanna talk about and tell you whether or not I would repurchase them again. I'm going to try to link everything that I can link in the description that I can find um, in case you guys want to try any of these products out for yourself. So if you wanna see what I would buy and what I would not buy again, then just keep watching. So we're gonna go ahead and start out with the body care. I usually start out with the home care, but I'm just gonna start out with the body care because it is the closest next to me. So first off, I went through this Margarita Citron scrub. This is from Tree Hut. I really enjoyed this scrub. It did smell like a margarita. And if you are a person like me that enjoys lime scents, you would most certainly enjoy this. So I actually think that you can still find these like, in Ulta and Target and Walmart and places like that. I was under the impression at first that this was limited edition, but I think you may be able to still find these because I've been seeing some that I thought were going away, but they're still in the store. But yeah, this was pretty nice. Um, I don't feel like it blew my socks off, but this was a very nice one. And if I wanted another one for next summer, I would go ahead and get this. I actually bought this last summer and I'm just now getting around to using it. So I was very satisfied with this because of course, like always, I love Tree Hut products. Another body scrub I went through, this is the Into the Night Glowing Body Scrub. And this is from Bath & Body Works. This is one of those body scrubs that have like the larger beads in them. And they also have like a little bit of shimmer. Of course, I love the scent Into the Night. And I think I have went through a few of these by now, but yeah, I really do like this scent. I would buy this again. I think I got that for 75% off or one of their sales, so whenever they have like a sale is the best time to buy their body scrubs if you want one because I'm not paying $18 for that body scrub, but paying four or $5 is definitely like more up my alley. So yeah, I would get that again. And also this one is Sunrise Wood. So I think I picked this up maybe last year or the year before, I'm not really sure at this point, but this is their creamy body scrub which is one of my favorite formulas. So with Bath & Body Works body scrubs, I do use um, exfoliating gloves with them. So it helps them to be a little bit more exfoliating, but I will say like the creamy body scrub and their sugar scrub are a little bit more abrasive, but even, you know, taking it a step further with the glove, it really helps and it makes everything feel nice and exfoliating. But Sunrise Woods is an awesome scent and if I were able to get this on sale, I would get this again. Next up, I finished my Into the Night Moisturizing Body Wash. Of course, I love the moisturizing, moisturizing body washes. They feel really nice and luxurious on the skin. Into the Night is a very, you know, strong scent and it still lingers when I get out of the shower. So this would also always be a repurchase. I finally, finally finished this passion fruit daiquiri um, shower gel from Philosophy. This took way too long for me to go through and the scent was just all right. Like it smelled good, it was nice for the summer, but if I was to get something else like this again, it would be have to be like a little bit smaller because this was like painful to go through. And anytime in the future when I go through like Philosophy products, I'll make sure to go through the ones that I have first and then add more like that just because I have, you know, I still, I've gone through a lot of stuff, but I still have a lot of stuff left. So it just took me a long time, but I really do enjoy Philosophy's body washes a lot. I went through this guava and orange body wash slash foam bath from Bath and Body Works. This like was a very nice orangey aromatherapy tropical type of scent. Um, it's not something that once again like blew my socks off. It was nice for what it was, but I think this one would be a one and done for me. And I also think that they discontinued that scent anyway, so I don't think I could buy it again anyway. But um, I finished this Caress Shea Butter and Brown Sugar Bar Soap, which I have talked about this before in an empties video, but this is like an exfoliating bar soap, which 
those really don't matter to me because i don't put the bar soap directly on my body anyway i always put it on a washcloth but this does not really have a scent to it like it doesn't lather up that great and it doesn't really have like a strong scent like the brown sugar uh body wash that they have like that right there is the truth it's it smells so edible it smells like you can just like take a spoonful of like some caramelized brown sugar and eat it this does not give me that like it's cool and it's like a relaxing kind of scent but it's not really strong so once i finish these up i will not buy this particular caress bar soap again next i went through this vagicil odor block daily intimate wash this is like a great um feminine wash to use during the summertime or while you're on your menstrual cycle i really do enjoy this and i feel like i always get it mixed up when i say that i can't use um vagicil feminine washes it's not vagicil it's summer's eve i always get those two mixed up and i think i got it mixed up in my feminine hygiene current favorites video but i do like this for those times um this is really nice and also too like i always say with the feminine wash um you don't just have to use it down there you can use this all over so this would even help like on your underarms or anything like that especially while it's very hot outside i also finished one of my favorite feminine washes and this is the uh foam wash from the l brand and this is unscented this is one of the only foam washes that i do enjoy um because usually foam washes don't I feel like they just kind of disintegrate in the water and in the washcloth but this one is very nice it's nice and slick and it's you know very nice to use and i will continue to repurchase this i went through several bottles of this at this point next i finished my sea island short body cream from bath and body works this is one of my favorite clean scents i don't know when i would repurchase this again because i even though i love fresh scents i do not gravitate towards them like that so i think i'm okay for now but if i ever feel like i'm missing this again of course i can always either go on mercari or wait until one of their semi-annual sales to pick this back up but this is an amazing fresh cottony scent and i do enjoy it i do still have the body mist so whenever i'm missing that like clean scent profile i can just go ahead and spritz myself and i'll be good i finished these vagicil sensitive intimate cleansing cloths and this is in the scent peach blossom i've said this before you can use an unscented feminine wipe if you would like to i normally don't use scented things down there but the wipes don't irritate me at all so i just like to have these for on the go for when i just want to freshen up so i will always repurchase these not necessarily like i'm not partial to just you know getting that scent but i love vagicil wipes period i just love to keep them in my purse um i'll finish this organic caribbean peach and apricot body oil this smelled really really yummy i loved it um i can't believe how long it actually lasted because this is an organic product but it did not smell bad i picked this up from the dominican republic at a store that was um at the cruise port called the organic caribbean i think that you can follow them on instagram but i don't know if they ship to the states or if they're only over there in the caribbean but this is a very nice body oil i loved how it smelled i love how it feels and whenever i take a trip to a place that has the organic caribbean i will be buying more scents i went through my tropic glow moisturizing shave oil from tree hut tree hut shave oil is pretty much the only thing i use at this point um i do still go back to shaving creams at times but for the most part i'm like very much converted over to tree hut shave oils and i love this scent of course it has that boom boom cream essence that pistachio and caramel i get a nice close shave with this shave oil i don't get nicked or anything and everything feels so nice and smooth like especially if i exfoliate but even if i'm not exfoliating and i'm trying to hurry up and get a quick shave this is really really nice it helps the razor to glide right over so i would repurchase this scent in particular and the shave oil speaking of which i went through two cartridges of the harry's razors so my dad actually had like a subscription and he was getting like way too many razors so he ended up start he started to give me some of these and it took me a very long time to get through them i think i still have a cartridge left these are like 
I mean, first of all, if you use Harry's razors, you have to be very, very careful because if you are not careful and you shave like you would with any other razor, you will slice your skin up like you were at the butcher shop, okay? And you don't want that to happen, but you will get the best, the closest shave of your life with Harry's razors. But just be very gentle because it does not take much. I mean, literally, I felt like I was going to be salami one day when I was trying to shave my underarms. It got caught up in there. I didn't know. You had. You just got to be very careful. But Harry's razors are the truth. They are, these are like considered men's razors and they're pretty much for like their beards. But y'all, these do a wonderful job at shaving literally everywhere. Literally everywhere that you want to shave, these do an amazing job. So that's all of the body care. So now I'm going to get into like, it's kind of like a hodgepodge of skincare, oral, and hair care. So first and foremost, let me start out with this nasty toothpaste right here that I've been itching to tell you guys about. So this is the Arm & Hammer Advanced White Toothpaste. This is disgusting. I will never, ever, ever buy this again. It tastes horrible. It also like made my mouthwash burn 10 times worse if I was to use this before or after the mouthwash. It honestly did not matter. Um, I'm usually a person that loves baking soda flavored toothpaste, but this was not the case. Like get a good look at this. If you like this toothpaste, then more power to you. I feel like it did the job, but it was disgusting. I might as well put my toothpaste, my toothbrush inside of a thing of baking soda and just put that in my mouth. It was so nasty. I will never buy this toothpaste again. I will always remember to never buy this again. This was horrible. Yeah, terrible. I went through this Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil, which is one of my favorites that I have discovered this year to remove my makeup. I love it. It doesn't cost that much money. You can find this at Ulta. It removes my makeup so easily. Um, I've said it before, I don't really care for cleansing balms because they just kind of get in my eyes. I can't see. It's just like too thick feeling and I'm a person that really, really has a thing with textures and if, if the texture is not texturing, I don't want to touch it. But this right here, it breaks up my makeup so easily and I will be buying another bottle of this. Um, I think when I got it, it was $16. So I'm not sure how much it is now. It might be a little bit more because I think I got this on sale, but it's worth every penny. It really breaks that makeup down and gets your face ready for like your other cleanser. And I would highly recommend this product. So this was like really my daughter's, but I did use it too. So this is a vegan kombucha tea essence. So this is like an essence and like a toner at the same time. She has more dry to combination skin and I got straight up oily skin, but I really did enjoy how this felt. I feel like this helped to make my pores a little smaller. I feel like this was very like easy going on my skin, easy going on the skin barrier. It felt very calming and it did not dry my skin out whatsoever. So this would be something that I would repurchase for myself. We did pick this up from Amazon and the moisturizer is very nice as well too. I don't know if it's because of the kombucha in there or what it is, but this is like a very nice essence to have. And I think this is like Korean skincare as well. And as we all know, the Korean skincare will have your skin looking amazing. And I do want to get a little bit more into that. So yeah, this is what this looks like. If I didn't show it close enough the first time, but yeah, this is a very nice essence. Finish my La Roche Posay Effaclar Medicated Gel Cleanser, and I do need to re up on this. I want to go right back through this skincare system. So, this did come with this cleanser, it came with um, the dark spot corrector, which I had been slacking on, but I need to get back into that program. And it also came with a toner, but I feel like when I was using this consistently, my face was clearing up tremendously. So I want to go ahead and get that again. Right now, of course, I'm using my Neutrogena Hydro Boost stuff, but this was really nice, especially for those of us with acne prone skin. I did get this on Amazon. I will link it down below because it costs less to get like the three step treatment rather than buying each of these separately and i really enjoyed this so this is uh the matching toner which is the clarifying solution this was the toner that came in that set so yeah like i said i really enjoyed this whole system 
this is all messed up and crazy looking but i finished up this uh ogx coconut miracle oil penetrating oil so i really do like their oils because they are like nice and thick it's almost kind of like a serum, like a thick serum for your hair. And I really feel like it penetrates the shaft of my hair. I have extremely dry hair. So when I do the LCO method, the liquid cream and then oil, this is a great oil that I really enjoy using to lock in the moisture. So I would buy this again. Plus it smells amazing as well. So I use this Eco Style Argan Oil gel basically so i use this and i will never buy this particular one again um i'm still trying to find out what works for my natural hair because when my hair was relaxed i would use the olive oil one that one when i was natural before it flaked like all the other gels that i had and this one right here it just felt like I had a little bit of gel but also water in my hair and it was not slicking my hair down like whatsoever so this is gonna be a no for me like because my hair is extremely curly and it would not slick it down so since then i've bought some bottles of gorilla snot that gel and that seems to help my hair lay down but i need to find like a mixture of products to use to really get my hair slick so i can wear my ponytails because I'm just trying to learn my hair all over again at this point. So I also finished this, which is spilling everywhere. It's on my cover. It's in my little basket. Like it's everywhere. This is the Jamaican mango and lime Jamaican black castor oil. This is just some oil that you can get from your local beauty supply. Um, I always love Jamaican black castor oil. It helps your hair to grow. It helps your scalp to not be so itchy and it's just a great oil. So I would purchase that again as I have before. I went through this Maya rice water and this is the split end therapy I don't know if it really helps with split ends but I will say using this along with the matching moisturizer really helps to grow my hair rice water in general like whenever I make my own rice water at home it I swear I have new growth I feel like the next day like it is honestly wild if you've never tried to make rice water go ahead and look that up it will make your hair grow like weeds but this is really nice i like to put this on my scalp and just like massage it through my hair and then i also like to use the matching moisturizer so this is my second time buying this and i would buy this again i went through these little creme shop hydrocolloid blemish patches i never know if i'm saying that word right or not y'all but i went through these and they I, they actually did work they actually did lighten up some dark spots on my face and i would buy these again i think it's really just about the active ingredient that's in here so I don't, I don't really think it matters if it was the cream shop or if it was cos rx or whatever but this really did work for half the price and i would buy those again i also finished this one size on till dawn mattifying waterproof setting spray i do want to get this in a larger bottle and give this more of a test as of right now I do think it helped to make my makeup stick this summer, but I do want to try it again and just like, you know, be able to use it a little bit longer. But this did last me a while for it to be a, a small bottle. So I can't really say if it's like life changing or not, but I did, I do remember that I enjoyed this spray. So I just want to give it another try in a larger size. So next up, I went through two supplements. So I finished my probiotics with prebiotics and cranberry little supplements from VH Essentials. VH Essentials. This is for your gut as well as vaginal health. I always talk about these. These are my favorite little prebiotics to take. Have repurchased these time and time again. I finished a bottle of my Slippery Elm Bark. I've always, I've already repurchased this and I've talked about this a little bit more in depth in my current favorites feminine hygiene video so if you know you know go ahead and check that video out if you have not because i've talked about it a little bit more over there and this is my second bottle so i really like it and i will continue to buy this okay okay i also finished these honey pot organic cotton panty liners and these are the icy hot pads but they're not so icy hot not so picante they they, they calm them down it's like you know when you go to taco bell and they're asking you do you want hot 
or spicy or mild sauce like it went from the flame it went from the fire sauce to mild and I, I can really appreciate that because it does not burn me up so I will repurchase these again in the future so I went through two hand soaps. So this first hand soap is the Happy Easter Tutti Frutti Candy. This is one of the hand soaps I got for 75% off from Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale. And this was a nice fruity scent. I do have this in body care. And yeah, this is just a nice jelly bean candy type of fruity scent. So this was nice for what it was. If I seen it again for 75% off, I will go ahead and cop. This next one is elderberry hibiscus and this was like pleasantly surprising. I never even had heard of this scent before but since it was in the 75% off bin, you know, for 75% off I'm going to give any soap a try. So I went ahead and picked this up. This was very nice and the scent lingered on my hands and I really did enjoy that scent. I went through a turquoise waters wallflower. This right here y'all is so strong. Like, I could smell this in the hallway from the bathroom. This was such a nice wallflower. I would definitely buy this again. I don't know, I, I don't know if this is my last one or not, but this is like the second one I've went through. And this is so fresh and clean and summery. And I mean, this is just amazing. I love this wallflower. Of course, I do have like the scent boosting little plug in in the wall. So I don't know if that has something to do with it, but girl, turquoise waters if you ever have a chance to get your hands on this please do perfect bathroom wallflower i also finished up these odor blasters little scent boosters and this is from arm and hammer i got these from walgreens they were having a sale and i love these little things like they they look kind of funny because they kind of look like little crystals as opposed to the scent beads from you know gain and all those other brands but this one like this just smells so fresh like fresh laundry water like this makes your laundry smell amazing especially if you use it with the detergent chef's kiss so fresh and it's cheap on top of that and you get so much in here i love this and i can't wait until walgreens has another sale because i'm going to purchase some more of these so next up I wanted to talk about this before, but I forgot. So this is the Pink Stuff Miracle Bathroom Foam Cleanser or cleaner, whatever. So yeah, this is one of my new favorite bathroom cleaners, but I will say I don't feel like it does a great job on the tub, but it does really nice on the toilet and it does nice on the sinks and the countertops. Like this instantly erased like anything that was on the countertops, anything that was on the sink or anything like that. And this didn't cost a lot of money either. I think I picked this up from Walgreens, I believe. No, CVS is where I picked this up from. They had a whole set that people were finding in Marshalls and TJ Maxx, but around the time I was not really in the stores. I'm still not really in the stores like that right now. So I never got to find it, but I wish I would have because this is the truth i really enjoy this cleaner but like i said i i prefer other things for the tub but for like cleaning your outside of your toilet bowl cleaning the sink cleaning the countertops this was really really good like any also other surfaces as well like i've used this around the house and i feel like this really gets up grind so the pink stuff and of course you know my favorite color but this is really really good lastly i went through four candles so this one is watermelon and wild mint i picked this up from semi-annual sale from 75 percent off i'm really happy i was able to um, enjoy this candle and try it out this was a very strong watermelon but it was more so like a kind of like juicy watermelon aloe and I think that's because it has this cucumber in there so it kind of like mellowed it out so it wasn't like a Jolly Rancher juicy but it was still like very potent and relaxing and fruity this was a this was an amazing summer candle like I really really enjoyed this and especially because I got it for 75% off that was a win um another candle that I went through this is strawberry snowflakes this one wasn't as strong of course because this scent is not that strong anyway but this was still a very nice relaxing sweet strawberry candle but it smelled amazing once I actually put it on the warmer like towards the end like it really projected at that point 
I love the scent strawberry snowflakes anyway, especially the pocket bag. The pocket bag for some reason is the strongest out of the whole line. I don't know why that is, but I wish everything was as strong as the pocket bag. But all in all, that was a nice candle, but it's probably gonna be a one and done for me. I'm just gonna stick to the body hair in that scent. Um, next up, this is Coco Paradise. So this candle burned terribly. Like, even though I trimmed the, the wicks, even though I did not let this go for too long, like, it started to burn through the wrapper and I was terrified of that. So I did not want this to just straight up, like, explode. So I put this on the warmer. This, of course, smells like the body care, a nice, sexy, beachy coconut, like, a nighttime, sexy, beach dinner type of vibe, but the candle burned terribly so i'm very upset about that but when i put it on the warmer it smelled really nice and i was able to enjoy it that way but i would not buy that candle again because that was too scary and then last but not least i went through this fresh sheets candle this one was very very nice it smelled like straight up laundry it made the house smell amazing i actually burned this in the kitchen so as soon as you walk through like you just get a nice fresh whiff it smells like you have a nice fresh clean house love this candle i wish this was, like if this was body care this would definitely be a clean scent i would wear often because i just like straight up just like cleanness like I want a scent that just smells like straight up laundry. I don't want any extra, nothing else in there. Like I just want to smell just like clean clothes. Like this smells just like that and it smells amazing and I love it. I almost forgot, I went through this Waikiki Paradise Wax Melt and this is from Sensational. They sent me a couple of wax melts to try as well as a whole wax warmer, which I really enjoyed. And this is Coconut Milk and Watermelon which is like an interesting combo, but this smells divine. Like this is such a nice wax melt. I would purchase this with my own money and I loved smelling it. So that is everything that I went through in the month of July. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you have went through or if you're having trouble going through your stuff, let me know that too, girl. Let's go ahead and have a conversation in the comments. So. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you guys subscribe. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.